We're going to turn now to coronavirus's impact on our economy. Arguably, one of the hardest hit the travel and tourism industry. In Hampton Roads, cruise ships haven't sailed in or out in more than a year. Guests spend millions of dollars at local businesses when they're docked in Norfolk. So tonight, the president of Carnival talked about a potential timeline for their return. Tonight on your side, Gina Arevalo has that update. Anita, starting in May of 2022, Carnival Cruises will start sailing out of Norfolk once again, and this time with a bigger ship. During that virtual event, the president says that the Hampton Roads location is an up and coming port for the company. After more than a year on pause, Carnival Cruise Line is anxiously waiting to welcome passengers back on board in Norfolk. Our team is ready to start sailing again. The company in the Mermaid City had just signed a five year deal right before the pandemic hit. President Christine Duffy says the industry is waiting for guidance from the CDC on when they can resume operations. Despite the delay, the future looks promising. Our booking uh, pace is, is better for 2022 than it was in 2019, and 2019 was one of our best years. She says the Carnival Magic, the biggest ship to ever sail from Norfolk, will make 11 voyages between May and October of next year. The city invested nearly $5 million to replace the cruise terminal passenger boarding bridge. Duffy says the Norfolk port is a strong market for the company. People uh, can drive or people find it very accessible and much easier than having to get on a plane. The cruise terminal and the experience and the hospitality that people receive in a community is very important to us and Norfolk gets, you know, A plus marks for that. She's hopeful cruise goers will bring a much needed boost to the local tourism and hospitality industry. They stay in the hotel, they go out to dinner, they see the sights and maybe they get to experience a town or a community that they've never been before. So what can passengers expect once it's time to set sail again? It's not quite clear until the company gets word from the CDC. However, we will likely constrain capacity. Duffy also says COVID-19 vaccines will be encouraged, but not required. Unless it's a mandate from CDC, um, it's not something that, that we've introduced at this point for Carnival Cruise Line. It's not clear when that updated guidance might be released by the CDC, but we're told Carnival crew members will also be encouraged to get the vaccine if they can. Gina Arevalo, Tid on your side.